what is going on everybody today we got a dandy video for you guys i know how much you in specific the madden community the youtube community for madden loves the call out videos someone called me out today in three two one i'll let you know uh someone by the name of madden head hd decided to call me out a famous tiktoker he even is on youtube go check out his links be in the bio below but he called me out to a game of madden and you know how i feel about that man by all means it's uh, gonna be just a friendly game there's no really a smack talk and uh you know he called me out and said you know what let's play i enjoy his tiktok content so much he does uh kind of breakdowns from play to play and you know something i might have to steal so you know don't ever say that i don't lurk things because i always lurk things whether it be the football whether it be someone's blitz or even an idea for content i'm gonna lurk it but we will be playing mutt i'm gonna add him up and do all that stuff in a second just want to get this intro out the way and yeah man i don't think we're gonna be micing up he's gonna be doing his thing i'm gonna be doing my thing and you know how it be live calm on the way see you in a sec all right boys here is the team that we'll be using. Uh, give me a second. It's going to be, you know, it's going to take a little bit to, I usually look there when I'm playing. I'm going to have to look there now. So it's going to take some time. So if you see me looking there while talking, you know what's up. But here's the team we'll be using. I'm going to take my screen out real quick. Just go in depth with the team. But as you see right here, Niners team team. This Calvin Johnson, amazing. Best tight end in the game. If you don't have him, if you're still playing Madden 21, cop him ASAP 99 speed. He has strength. He could truck, bro. He breaks tackles. Another focal point I want to look at is this Brandon Ayuk. 99 speed. I'm going to have mid and elite. He's going to be playing my slot. And then, of course, A-Rod. And here's everything else if you want to see. All round master slinger escape. Short and elite. Mid and elite. And short and elite. And, of course, how could we forget? Playmaker Moss. Here's the defense, boys. It's the same pretty much for the whole year. I'll just show you the abilities real quick. We got Lawrence Taylor right here with an El Toro. Lurker, Patrick Willis. So we will be in that New York Giants defense. Deion Jones lurker. Mike Evans with Acrobat, 6'5", can't beat it. El Toro on Montez Sweat. Shutdown, Acrobat, Jalen Ramsey. Ricky Jackson, El Toro, 97 speed. Mid zone KO and another Acrobat on Nambi. And that's going to be my defensive abilities. Offense, defense, Seattle offense. Giants defense. Let's get this freaking dub real quick and expose the TikTokers. Like I said, my guy's a cool guy. I'm just trying to, you know, just try to just throw some, you know, little jokes here and there. But I'll catch you guys in the game. He's about to invite me right now. See right here, he just sent the invite. We're gonna join. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Madden Head HD, Pav. Let me know who you got down below. TikTok, YouTube. This is a nice collaboration. About to ready up. He's gonna be rocking the Ravens jerseys. I'll be rocking the Raiders good matchup on the way so boys let's see who his top three is he's gonna have rg3 not bad not bad julio and sterling sharp i'm not too sure about the Ster sterling sharp uh acquisition or you know addition to his team but uh we'll see how he works i really don't know what he runs but i do know he loves to take off a lot with rg3 man we're gonna have to contain rg3 in the pocket asap so that's definitely the focal point. Containment, contain him in the pocket. And then on offense, we're just going to do what we do, baby. Throw some dots. Run the ball a little bit. Use A-Rod to his full potential. He's right here. I'm going to set my audibles real quick. You know I got to have that on one trap. You know I got to have that halfback uh, counter. That buck. And he's going to de decline my penalty, hopefully. Uh, I'm sure he will. And yeah, that's, that's just how we're going to rock. There it goes. He declines the penalty. No scumbagginess going on. And he is an over G. So I haven't played over G in a while. Um, but, you know, I feel like I could stretch this defense a lot. He's going to blitz right off the bat. And we make a quick, easy read with A-Rod. That's why you get A-Rod with that slinger. Ooh, he could have used her that. He has user in Carl Bank. So 6'4". Uh, as you see right here, number 58. Almost got Beatty with it. But you know we got Calvin out there. And now he's going to switch it up, boys. So right off the bat, switching it up. Uh, he's going to probably send two right here. I haven't seen this look so much. I'm just trying to roll out a little bit. And there's nothing there. We're going to throw it away. He insta sent that QB spy. That was pretty impressive. I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Bunch tight end. See how he likes to uh, adjust to that. See if he blitzes or plays coverage. And it's going to be a coverage look. And we're going to have Calvin right there. And look how fast he is, man. If you don't have Calvin, go get him right now. He broke, almost broke that tackle. That's pretty funny, man. Tight end Calvin trucking DK Metcalf. 
uh, who's on defense. Like, that's just pretty funny to see. Boys, if you want the best settings, conservative, conservative, conservative. Don't get cheated out there. And we're going to run clear out, man. I feel like he's giving me tight end once more. Calvin once more. And uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Hopefully, this play works out really well. I'm going to get the ball off just in time. And... He kind of had me back, but we look and we have Moss running across the field. Great patience right there. Easy drag. That's why you get A-Rod, boys. Look at that um, little, nice little release. Just getting it before he goes out of bounds. And, you know, I'm going to run the same play again. But this time, I'm going to put him on a tight end post. So I feel like once more, he's going to run max coverage. And hopefully, hopefully, hopefully that post is open. We have A-Rod. That's a beautiful dot, man. Stretch his user. Which one is he going to pick? He ends up picking the tight end. Playmaker up. Easy peasy dot to Randy Moss once more. Playmaker. If you know me, Playmaker Pav. I love me some Playmaker. We're going to do a nice easy play right here. And uh, I don't know. He kind of has everything bagged. So we're just going to end up taking off maybe. And yes, great, great user, but great patience by myself. I could have chucked that to Moss, but he had an amazing click on. I'm not risking that, man. I will take my five yards. I end up getting nine because he clicked off. Um, that's why you use escape artist. That's why golden ticket A-Rod, in my opinion, is the best quarterback in the game. And right here, we are going to definitely catch him off guard, I feel like. Um, I'm Usually when I go to this formation, people think I'm running the ball. But no, we're going to pass. And we have Mike Evans. And we get cheated, man. Mike Evans high ball back end zone. That's literally money in real life. And we can't get it to be completed come on a rod right when i was hyping you up not gonna lie boys i'm a little scared of this scenario um i don't know what i want to do i'm just probably looking for Ayuk, and if it's not there i'm gonna take off oh that's a terrible read we almost get a bad throw just a bad read i mean it wasn't a bad read the thing is i should have lowballed it or i should have just thrown it normally I, I'm kind of forgetting that high balls are trash this year. I'm kind of thinking already in the beta I was highballing some passes. But you know we're going to go for it, man. You know we're going to go for it. It's not even a question that we're going to go for it. And I'm looking for tight end Calvin right here or Moss. And we are going to be able to get tight end Calvin and we get sacked. That's instant pressure by Jack Youngblood. I don't even know how his spy is being sent that fast. He must know something. He must play a lot of people scrambling. A little unfortunate, but we're good, man. Uh, definitely should have got that touchdown to Mike, though. Chad, do you think Calvin was open right there? I personally don't think it was too open, but I mean, I had to throw something. And that's the only thing bad about A-Rod on the run. His release sucks on the run. Plus, he's a little slow. Boys, he's showing us that personnel that we love to see. You know what's coming next. Let's get our set, uh, adjustment set up real quick. Hopefully, we can scream. Uh, he's actually running a great offense. I love this offense a lot. And I just don't haven't ran it really, but I know this offense is lethal with the amount of yards you could get scrambling with your quarterback outside those contained pockets. Um, just like I said, okay, he ends up running the ball. No, sir, not on Ronnie Lott. He ends up actually getting three, but we will take it. And honestly, Ronnie Lott's not that tall, but he is super fast. I know there's like one more user out there that's good. Simmons cool, but he's just slow now. And now Gum Bunch? Come on, man. This is instant pressure, man. You know 146, you know me. Uh, actually, you haven't even got my setups down pat yet, but there we go. I'm fine with this setup right here. And I don't know what that is, but we're going to take make that tackle. Nice little hit shot, I guess. And now time for the bunch tight end cheese, man. Can't say I didn't expect this. Uh, just want to sack him or just want to get hold him in the pocket. That's all I really want to do right here. Once more, sending that pressure, 146. Holding him in that pocket. And that's a great dot, man. That's just a great dot. Something I would have thrown for sure. And he abused my cover two right there by sending a crosser, I believe, out there. And it just worked out really well. So this is kind of unlike a lot of people I play. Usually they don't let me run 146. But my man has pretty good blocking right now. And, you know, if it's going to continue to work out, it's going to continue to work out. This flip is definitely a little annoying. But, hey, I do the same thing. So I can't even complain. It's right here. We are going to send that pressure. And he hasn't seen that one before. Taylor Mays right through the A-gap. Nice sack. Second 15. Let's try to get the ball back. Try to get some points because we should already have some points. And doing the same thing again. You know me. This time, okay, you flip in. You want Taylor Mays once more. That's cool with me. Uh, we're sending that 146, boys. 
and if, if you don't know the setup by now man are you a true fan are you really a true fan because he's gonna fake hack right here and he it's not gonna matter he's gonna end up calling timeout i was anticipating the blitz to come in i'm getting a little eager i won't lie right here sending that 146 once more this hook curl i hope it plays something because man oh man hook curls do suck right boys uh they haven't been good at least from the safety spot in a while he actually ends up picking this blitz up and he's gonna get cheated i don't know how we picked that up i don't know how we chop block my contain on that side but hey this guy knows some glitches with escape artists definitely gonna have to hit him up next year because sheesh that was pretty nice i didn't think he was gonna be able to move or run away from my blitz let alone be able to throw a corner out with contains and he's once more in the 146 or in the bunch tight end i can't talk in the bunch right now but i think we'll be good this time uh is he gonna be good though that's the thing his his time is running out and he barely gets a playoff i just don't know what happened oh my god we just get cheated please make a tackle and we're not able to make a tackle what the hell just happened boys that was insane uh i clicked r3 by accident and it ended up sending one of my guys but like that still should have been mid zone ko that still should have been a sack oh my god i mean that should have been a tackle if anything i just don't know what happened right there boys but we are good i'm just trying to hold him in the pocket this is kind of wild the way he's playing he just he knows how to escape man he knows how to use escape artists a lot it's right here that's fine with me low ball dot two yards is fine i gotta be better that's four yards never mind that's not good and i see what he's doing now boys he's doing a lot of max protecting this is where the true player is gonna adjust um hopefully i get these adjustments down pat this is simple cover two look and i have a mid read um i don't know hopefully my spy gets out out there in time because yeah that's all i could say right here great defense great mix up i don't think he was expecting that one and once more here he goes with the flip man this flip is pretty pretty filthy if you ask me we got our adjustment set now and we're contain is out there hopefully we scream boys i don't know if we're gonna scream right here but hopefully we do scream is he gonna motion that guy if he motions it i'm gonna be a little worried i'm just gonna man up r1 hopefully the hope for the best no pressure but that's a pick six pick six and no it's not a pick six because we're all conservative boys i know how to counteract the conservative glitch when your player runs like he has shit in his pants you had to celebrate and it just didn't hit me in time and plus the guy was behind me if i'm afraid if i celebrate it it could have been like a fumble or something but we're good man i'm hyped now unfortunately my playmaker's on the wrong side but i'm just looking for this iu corner out man really just want this iu corner out it's right here we might have something else we might have something else and we drop it but that was a 50 50 ball i'm not mad of it i see something now though i see something now boys He's playing a lot of cover two on that side. I'm going to motion out the same thing again. And I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope I get a good pass lead on this ball. Because if he's running cover two again, free play, free play, free play. We're going that way. And there goes Randy Moss all the way to the 31-yard line. We're going to decline this penalty, take our yards. He was getting a little too eager, trying to use a rush or something. It's all good. I've been there. I've done that. And right here, just really looking for Zeke. And boom, there goes Zeke. Great tackle by Carl Banks. I mean, he's literally a linebacker right here. Trying to stretch this cover two again, boys. Um, if he is in cover two and he's not in cover two this time, boom, playmaker that way. We're going to get our yards and we're going to go all the way down to 14. This time I will kick three if it comes down to it because trust, I need my points. Oh my God, what just happened? We're going to have a dot anyways, but boys, rewind that if you have to. He got clicked onto Jack Youngblood and this dude, Jack Youngblood is insane. I don't know what theme team he has what his abilities are what his speed is even but he is shedding me a like just right away every time uh we still get the ball out and we got a score right here it's zeke time man it's zeke time it's time to feed the zeke and he might shoot this gap but it's not gonna look like it. he still gets out there in containment should have cut it back up field run stick was a little sus right there boys boys we're gonna actually catch him right here hopefully and pass because I have this nice, really, really nice run play that I love to call down here, or pass play, excuse me, that I like to call down here. And it's gonna work right here. What a dot, boys, just threading the needle. His user was kinda there, but he was guarding the streak, or excuse me, the drag. And oh, I thought I was gonna get lurked. Carl Banks is around six foot four, boys, so 
That was a little scary, man, but we get it done. We finally score. One more stop. I think this is gonna be wraps. Right here, boys. He's gonna come out and bunch tight end. Not, or not bunch tight end. I don't know why I keep saying that. Bunch. There we go. He's in bunch. We know he's in bunch. Um, I wanna man up some guys just in case. He gets glitchy with it, and boom, we're gonna man up two guys right there. Not bad, not bad. We're gonna try to send the heat, but he knows how to pick up this heat. Metcalf can't do anything for us, but I mean, that's five yards. We'll take it. And he is, he knows how to pick up heat. He knows how to pick up heat. I will say it right here, right now. Right here, we're sending the absolute dogs, the hounds, whatever you wanna call them. Great coverage look behind it. And yeah, I, I think he's gonna get screamed at right here. And there it is. We finally get some pressure and almost a user pick. Should have been a user pick. We're fine though. Right here, getting real adjusty with it. And that's the beauty of Mutt. You can use your Taylor Mays. You can use your Sean Taylor. They're both really OP. And hopefully we scream, man. Hopefully we scream. I'm just trying to scream. That's all I'm trying to do. And there's the pressure, but he dots me up. Good dot, man. That's on me. That's my territory. And like I said, man, he's max protecting often. So what we're going to do to counteract that is literally just send three. And let our l tours go to work. Because... I don't know, man. I just feel like he's really, really good with max protection. He's really good versus the blitz. And good run play call. Run call. Ends up getting eight yards. And he's going no huddle, boys. He's going no huddle. Uh, man, I should have got that user pick. But we're good, man. And right here, this flip is kind of annoying. But we're straight. We're good. We're good. We're good. And we're motioning out that corner just to prevent the rollout. Just in case he does roll out and great defense we're gonna take this incompletion any day of the week trying to get some more pressure right here man and if we do we're gonna get this ball back um he's probably gonna end up taking three if we get a sack but i don't know and there it is a throw out a sack that's why i don't use a rg3 and that's six that's six that's six that's six gotta stop and go terrible stop and go well we're good we're gonna score seven anyways good stuff rod woodson that pressure comes in. That's why I don't use RG3. He's great, but when he can't roll out, he's not great. Uh, that hurts. I know that was some semi-open, boys. Let me know if you think that was open or not. I personally think that was a little open, but, you know, throw out a sack. You got to love it. got to hate it. Whatever it is. It's right here. He gets some pressure. I had a lot of things open. I knew he was going to blitz, but just try to make a quick read. And his zones are kind of playing weird. That right zone was kind of guarding the... In route, out route, and the corner route at the same time. But we're good. We're going to five out this and see what we get. Right here, five out. Easy peasy right there. Going to get out of bounds too. And I like this because it's so hard to score three if you're, um, you know, have, getting the ball back with 34 seconds. For me, I could still get seven. I love this scenario a lot. And hopefully we get seven. We're going to take off with escape artist. Max protecting right here. And he actually ends up not blitzing, but boom, Playmaker is so good. And I know he's over there like, why is Playmaker so good? A lot of people say that, man, but I don't know. You got to use it. You got to try it out for yourself, boys. See if it's for you. We're cooking up some real dots now, man. Look for Calvin on this tight end flood route. And we had a touchdown. I see we had a touchdown, and we can't get out of bounds. I see that, though. I see that for the next play. Probably going to be my last play if it's inbounds. If not, then we're going to have still life. I'm looking for Moss up the seam or once more Calvin Johnson. See what we got. And we have a touchdown again. Let's go. I saw from the last play. He gave it to me again. Randy Moss up the seam. That cover three cannot get there. Great dots. Great flips. Great bunches. Oh, that's so cheesy when bunches being able to flip, flip, flip. And you're an over G. That's why over G is like, it's really good. But if you're be, you're getting flipped, then it's just really bad. You can't adjust in time. And right here, boys, it looks like he's just going to run this ball out and take it into half. Completely fine with that. Great half we played so far. No points, please. Great run D. Willis McGahee. That kind of rhymed all in the sequence. He's a good call timeout. Not mad at it. 17 seconds. You can still get three. Especially with the super kickers nowadays. Dudes can make it from the 50-yard line, literally, with some win, man. But it looks like he's playing it safe. This year... This time last year, I'd be, you know, sweating it. Oh my God, power O or oh my God, stretch. He actually ends up passing, but there's nothing there. And we are just going to try to pick this off with Nambi and he gets a pick for us. And we're going to run the ball ourselves. I'm not even going to try to, you know, get a throw out a sack or anything. Um, 
I don't know. Just going to see what he comes out in. And if I don't like it, I'll just end up running the ball. And he's backing him up, man. He knows. And let's see what I got. Let's see what I got. I got something. I got something. I sure got something going on right now. If we're able to get three, that'd be kind of insane, boys. I literally need about f five yards from here, and we'd be able to get three. Y'all know what I'm going to. Easy peasy out route. If it's not there, then we kind of lost. And we lost. There's nothing there. We're going to just try to get a broken play before half. This could be TikTok potential. This could be TikTok potential. I don't see anything. And I threw the wrong one, but we'll take it. Good catch, I guess. I was trying to throw it to Zeke and maybe cut it up to the right sidelines. But it's all good. Uh, it was worth a shot. Boys, I kind of just messed this kick up. Never mind. We're good. Uh, I was not looking. I was on my phone. I hate when I do that. And he's going to get it to the 40 or 35 almost. So, you know, I deserve that because of me not paying attention. And, boys, I don't know if my man doesn't know about 146 or he doesn't care. But he's once more dealing with the pressure. And it's, it's happened once, boys. We got a sack once. We'll take it. Uh, that sack did result in a pick six throw out a sack. So, I mean, I'm in the I'm in the driver's seat right now I could play coverage. I could send a blitz right here We are obviously blitzing if y'all can't tell and there goes the pressure but great dot zig route against cover two I'm gonna start running cover three boys and my man's is a daughter uh, Respect to my guy Three wide all game. I know I couldn't do it But he said I got you I could do it anytime any day of the week and right there, just great pressure. Throws the ball away. And he's frantic in that in that uh, pocket, man. Um, and that's what 146 could do to you. And we're going to disguise the blitz so heavy right here that I don't even know. This is going to be such a disguised look. But hopefully I could get my settings and adjustments set up. The flip definitely got me messed up right here. Um, I like this a lot. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. Great users. Great pocket. Great everything. And that's going to be another pick for Ram Bam Bam Ramsey. I can't even talk. Almost six, but I just have bad stick work. I kind of got caught up in the moment. I looked in the camera instead of looking at the field. And I'm, I'm a, I feel like a cheeser, man. I'm going to run 3 3 5 wide till the end of the game because I don't know, man. 1 4 6 is not fair. My man's winning the game thinking, oh, I could dot up this 1 4 6. Newsflash, you can't. I can't. You can't. No one can, bro. Not even God. 146 is too good right here. Just honestly just trying to make quick reads just trying to make quick reads man Just trying to make quick reads boom got a quick read trying to make something happen Mike Evans might be out of there and Marlon Humphrey tracks me down I know he's kind of mad about that because I would be too. That's something I get mad about a lot like it, it, You know, it was a great read for me It should have been like five yards max the fact that I broke that tackle says a lot right here Trying to get some yards with Calvin look at him falling forward. Go cop yourselves tight end Calvin Play him anywhere. Wide receiver, tight end. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to him right here, boys. I'm calling my shot. Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to throw this no matter what, even if he's blitzing or not. And that was match. I threw a book. That's pain right there. I thought he was going to be blitzing, man. The one time he doesn't blitz is the time I go to Calvin on clear out. And clear out is so good versus the blitz, if you didn't know. But we're going to run 3 3 5 wide. Feel like 146 is too good, man. Maybe he's subbing in someone, and no, he's not. He's actually going to a different formation altogether. And I don't know, man. I'm in mattress trips. This might not be good. I was thinking he was gonna come out in um, bunch again, but we're, we're just gonna contain him and see what goes on. It's right here. It's solid defense all around. Solid defense all around. Good defense. Once more in trips tight end. Interesting. Interesting call, man. Um, we're just gonna play this safe play that contained defense uh if you watch my game versus spamming buttons my last video you knew i you saw i was screaming quite a bit we actually still lost but right on cue we scream we scream team man montez sweat doing his little celebration man that's 90 i don't even know 97 speed 96 speed coming through the a gap that's just not fair man that's just not fair and he is still in trip side end hopefully we could scream one more time if we do this game is going to be wraps and let's see, man. Let's see. Oh, we are not going to be able to scream because we kind of kind of messed it up. But great defense. And third and 16. He's going to have to go for it, boys. I messed up by moving that contain angle out a little too much. It happens. He's going to end up punting. Watch the fake, though. One touchdown is going to put this game away completely, boys. 
We're trying to go up top. Clear out once more. And he is playing like, I don't even know what type of defense this is. We're just going to chuck something. Try to get lucky. It almost worked, man. Maybe if I racked it, I could have got a rack ag. Uh, that kind of looked clean, though, man. I'm going to try to look throwing that again. I just, I just don't know what type of defense this is. This is obviously some type of send two or something. Yeah, he's sending two again. And that's a dot. I didn't know that was going to be a dot, but that's a dot, boys. Calvin all the way to the three-yard line. And, yeah, I saw it last play. I'm like, hold up. Is this a dot? Guess what? It's a dot. Uh, I believe that's a quarter or a third pressing up like crazy. Nonetheless, like, we're going to be able to – we're going to go for the touchdown again. And it's not there, man. Uh, maybe next year I could take up off the middle like that. But probably going to run the ball right here. Play it a little safe. Let's see, test his run D. And it's looking like he's scrambling around. When people are scrambling around, you just want to call hike. And, oh, my God, Ed Reed just doing something. He actually, I don't know if he's the greatest at it, but he played the run really, really well. We're going to go back to our money play once more time. One more time. Third time's a charm. And hopefully we get it, man. Hopefully we get it. I'm looking for Derrick Henry on this angle route. And Mike Evans high ball. A-Rock can't get a high ball for us. Bring back high balls, please, EA. Yeah. Gonna have to kick three, man, because going for a fourth down would seem like, you know, I'm toying with them or whatever, but yeah. I can't be set up. We'll take our three possession lead. That's This is gonna guarantee we win. Right here, boys. Easy pressure. We can't get the sack, though. And whoa, what is going on out there? It's gonna end up being a third down and 11. And man, I've really just been chilling all game, man. Simple cover three looks with seam flats. It's really good against spread, man, honestly. The only thing is, obviously, you gotta watch both seams, but your seam flats will do that for you uh, for a little bit. Probably like a 10 to 15 yard mark. And then they'll kind of bite down. Sometimes they even match, but right here, see right there, streak end up getting matched onto by the seam flat, leaving the slant wide open. And right here, we're going to make an adjustment because I know he's going to want to throw that again. So we're going to leave that right seam flat and we're going to put a left vert hook. Seam flat on the right was going to guard the streak all the way up the middle. Vert hook will guard the streak a little bit. I'm jumping right side. I could honestly man up this guy right here, and that's what we're going to do because we have shutdown. And, I mean, this isn't the best defense, but it will do just what we want it to do, and that is nothing because he actually got me. If that was a post going in the middle, seam flat, or this, this uh, vert hook would have guarded it, but that was a post corner, a poco, I guess. And it caught me, man. I did not think that was going to be a poco, but guess what, boys? That was a poco, and my user was looking very sleepy. He's right here. Let's see what we got going on. And just a nice little read. Sean Taylor with the auto big hit sticks. CPU hit sticks. That's why you get big hitter. And right here, he's going back in the bunch. We're going to send that pressure, man. That's what we do. We're going to send that pressure because he's not going to be expecting it. And it's going to be instant pressure right up the middle, right up somewhere. And there goes Mike Evans. And he can't get the sack, but we do force him to step up in the pocket. And he's going no huddle again. Right here, that's gonna be a pick, boys, or incompletion. Fourth down and six. This is the game, man. Once I get the ball back, I'm probably just gonna run the clock out, man, because I don't know. I don't, I'm not trying to run up the score. And my man has some great pocket, some great blocking, some great route combos, but he just couldn't put it together today. And I don't know if it's just because I was running that one four six or the way I'm just playing. I'm playing pretty simple right now. I'm not adjusting too much. Just kind of let my zones go off. He's right here. Ah, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. And Namdi plays it for us. That was almost a crazy dot. I really don't know what that is, boys. But, man, that's going to be pretty much it. Right here, one last pass. It's probably going to um, take a sack, run the clock out. My man just texted me, GG's. He's going to get on out of here. Great stat line for me. Not the greatest for him, but great game to my guy, Maddenhead HD. Go check him out below. Most respect to my guy. Love his TikTok content. He inspired me a little bit. I'm going to steal some of his ideas. I'll catch you next time. Let me, let me sign out real quick. See right here, boys. As you can see, hopefully it zooms in. He said, GG's, man, you're insane. I said, GG's, bro. Obviously, below that, we just sent it, the game, sent the invite and all that. 
fiction. Once more, shout out my guy. Much respect to him. Check him out below.